Hi, my name is Bryce Bassett and my company is called Versatile Solutions. In this video series, I'll be talking about a number of different ways to organize and store reusable content, then retrieve it using an automated document template in Microsoft Word. Templates help you create great looking letters, proposals, and reports with a consistent look and feel. They do that by setting up a standard format for things like fonts, margins, colors, logos, page headers, and footers. But what about the content that goes into those documents? That's the most important part, but most templates don't do anything to help with content. It's pretty rare in most businesses to write an entire document from scratch. Most of the time we borrow content from something we've done before. If we're lucky, we can track down an old document that's close to what we want make a few changes and save it as a new document. This can save time, but one problem with this approach is that it keeps perpetuating outdated materials and formats. Not to mention you have to be really careful to change the old client name and other details or it could be pretty embarrassing. Or we may start out with a new document, then as we go along we open up a bunch of different old documents so we can copy and paste a really good paragraph, a diagram, or an entire section into our new document. Sort of like taking parts of old dead things and trying to bring them back to life. Now where have I heard of that before? Both of these methods, what I call the recycled document or the Frankenstein document, have similar drawbacks. They perpetuate outdated content. They result in documents with inconsistent formatting and style. Plus, they are time consuming, error prone, and limited by what you can remember and how easy it is to find it. There is a better way. Microsoft Word has its own built-in programming language that can be used to do almost anything you can imagine. It's the same language used to create macros, but this goes way beyond ordinary macros. With it we can build all kinds of content management features, organizing your latest and greatest content into shared libraries, and creating menu buttons that pull from those libraries to speed up the process of creating documents. This can range from a simple document that you create mostly by hand with buttons for quick access to standard boilerplate paragraphs to a much more automated system where you answer a few questions then the computer assembles the document for you or anywhere in between. The goal is the same to organize your best content and make it easy for your people to pull it into any document. A big advantage of this kind of tool is that you don't need to buy or learn any new software. The buttons that control these automation features appear on a custom tab, also called a toolbar, in the Word ribbon menu. It's available every time you run Word, no matter what document you have open. What's more, the content collection itself is organized and maintained using familiar Microsoft Office programs that your people already know and use. In the remaining videos, I'll demonstrate several different techniques I've used to help companies like yours organize their content and make it part of an automated template. Now when I say automated, I'm really talking about computer assisted. You don't want cookie cutter documents, so there will always be a human author involved. But we can provide some tools to help save that person time and effort. And because every organization does things differently, there's no one size fits all tool. It's a very creative process, and the best approach or combination of approaches will depend on what you need to accomplish and what best fits the way your organization works. Before beginning anything, talk to your people who spend a lot of time creating documents to gather their ideas about pain points and their wish list of possible solutions. That will ensure we design a tool people will want to use because it makes their lives easier. In these videos, I'll be showing examples from Microsoft Word, but keep in mind that many of these same techniques can also be used in Microsoft PowerPoint and Excel. 
as you watch, be thinking of these questions in the back of your mind. What do we do in our company that's similar to these examples? Where could we benefit from standardizing our processes and centralizing our content? How could we use this approach, or something like it, to simplify the task of creating documents at our company? Please contact me if you'd like to brainstorm about how I could help you with faster, smarter document creation.